I can't believe it. What? I appear to be allergic to grass. No way, me too. There's only one thing for it. Stay inside and play this week's new game releases. Bingo Bango! Ian, do you remember the bit in the first Modern Warfare game when you had to take out Imran Zakayev with a one-shot kill with your sniper rifle? Oh yes indeedy. Did it give you a taste for playing the part of the hunter, taking down unsuspecting enemies from afar? Oh, most definitely. And has no game since then satisfied your craving for long distance blood? Uh, no. Well, that could all be about to change with the imminent arrival of Sniper Ghost Warrior. <laughs> The game, developed by Warsaw-based City Interactive and the company's first title for the Xbox 360, promises an incredible insight into the danger-filled world of the military marksman. Not wanting to set the action in a real country and in the process upset a real dictator, Sniper Ghost Warrior is set on the fictitious South American island of Isla Torreno, where a despotic military regime led by the ruthless General Vasquez has seized control from its democratic government. You play the part of one of several covert commandos whose job it is to infiltrate the rebel stronghold and restore order. You're acting on intel that Vasquez is due to chair a meeting with some of his highest ranking members. And being a military dictator, he hasn't just rented out a conference room at the nearest Chorus Hotel. Oh no, he's gone with the classic badass option of let's all meet up at the local oil refinery. Things don't go quite to plan, and the crack unit you're part of embarks on a mission which eventually spans 16 stages with locations including a mine, a coastal setting and a set of ruins as the game's twisty-turny plot unravels. If the regenerating shields of the Master Chief leave you cold and you crave some realism, then you'll be pleased to hear that Sniper Ghost Warrior promises to place itself squarely in the military simulation genre. You'll be treated to things like a realistic ballistic system that accounts for the distance you are from your target, the fall off of the bullet's trajectory, and environmental factors such as wind direction. And you know when in a golf game the camera follows the trajectory of the ball? Well, that's all very well, but a golf ball is nowhere near as cool as a bullet. That's why Sniper Ghost Warrior's bullet cam system sounds sweet. It promises to offer stunning close-ups as the bullets thud into their unsuspecting targets. Kablam bang! Sniping from your armchair is all very well and good fun. But don't worry, it's not all about sitting in the undergrowth waiting for the perfect moment to strike your prey with a high caliber bullet. We're also being promised some high action firefights at moments when the enemy break cover, forcing you and your squad to engage in open combat. Violence bang! Fire on three. One, two, three. And once you've rinsed the single player campaign, there's a chance to take the fight online where you can hone your sniper skills in some hot multiplayer action with up to 16 players. So, do you pine for some realistic military shooty shooty without the risk of actually getting killed for real? Well soldier, it's time to gilly up, go prone and crawl into your local town centre because Sniper Ghost Warrior is out on 2nd of July. EA Sports, it's in the game. Matt, Tiger Woods is in the gaming headlines again with a new game. Don't you think it's a good opportunity to make up some golfing puns about how good Tiger is at getting the birdies? The importance of being able to drive properly and how much fun it is to spend an afternoon swinging? <sighs> Every time. Can you please, for once, just try and speak words that introduce the game while avoiding the very real possibility of us all getting sued and taken off the air? Please. Okay. If anything reminds us that time flies and that you've got to grab every day by the sack, it's that the next Tiger Woods golf game, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 11, is due out in the shops in a couple of weeks, after what seems like barely months since the last version. EA are hoping to convince you that this year's update is worthy of your cash with some sweet new features. For starters, motion control's been added to the PS3 version now, as well as being enhanced for the Wii version. Plus, there's an all-new mini golf mode for when you want to take a break from the fairways. The Ryder Cup, due this year to be held at the 2010 course at Celtic Manor Resort, will bring together teams of the best American and European golfers in the world to compete for something which seems to have been lost in this day and age of huge salaries and bonuses. 
The prize for winning the competition is purely the prestige that comes with winning. Ah, that's nice. Ah, yeah. Well, let's hope the players can negotiate some sweet sponsorship deals throughout the rest of the year to make up for it. Prestige doesn't pay for the weekly food shop, you know. Yeah, how about the Tiger Woods sponsored dating agency? We can't promise true love, but you may get lucky. (sighs) I thought we weren't going to go down that road again. Anyway, one of the brand new features EA is adding to this year's update as you fight for honour and country is that you'll be able to create your own team and take on the world in online team play. You'll have the option to play in matches with up to 12 players against 12 over Xbox Live and the PlayStation Network. Internet bang! Also, Sony executives haven't taken every chance to wave their PlayStation Move controller in your face recently for nothing, you know. EA are working with it to implement motion control into the game, and building on the motion control success so far with the Wii version, they are trying something new with what they are calling True View. Apart from sounding like the brand name for a home pregnancy test kit, True View promises an innovative first-person camera view where the developers even suggest aiming the Wiimote at a real golf ball on the ground when playing so you can line your shots up. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 11 will be the first EA Sports title to launch with the controversial new online pass system. It'll be interesting to see how that one goes down with the gamers. The game is out on 2nd of July. So, Matt, will you be driving to the shops, or are you going to swing by on the bus? Please stop. Please, Ian, just, just stop. I'm tired. I'm so tired. The first Crackdown game, released over three years ago now, back in February 2007, was something of a surprise to many gamers. Distributed by Microsoft, it featured an access code to the multiplayer beta test version of the insanely hotly anticipated Halo 3. Many thought this was just a cheap marketing ploy by the Big M to palm a dodgy game off on the back of the popularity of Halo so it was pretty sweet when the game actually turned out to be rather jolly good fun. In fact, it was so much fun the game went on to sell 1.5 million copies in the first six months on sale. In the sequel, you return as an agent, complete with the totally non-linear gameplay which made the first game so much fun. Rather than a tight sequence of missions, developer Ruffian Games would rather you choose your own way of tackling their game. You can even choose to take some buddies along as backup, thanks to the four-player co-op feature. Crackdown 2 is set 10 years after the end of the first game, and in that 10 year period, the tech that helped develop the agents in the first place has backfired. There is a virus sweeping Pacific City, causing the population to mutate. The result is a three way fight between the agents, the cell, made up of people who haven't been infected, and those who have succumbed to the effect of the virus, known as the freaks. It's nice to see Ruffian Games haven't got caught up with the political correctness wave there. You know, they could have called the infected virally challenged or something else poor like mutated unfortunates. Instead, they just don't mince their words. Freaks. They've just gone with calling them the freaks. I like it. Anyway, while the freaks are wreaking havoc in the city, the civilian resistance known as the Cell are taking the fight into their own hands with attacks against the agency. Excitingly, gamers are being promised extreme freedom, allowing you to measure out your own unique brand of justice in whatever way you see fit in what is promised to be one of the most explosive, interactive worlds you've ever explored. If what you've seen here has got you as excited about the game as we are, then great gaming gods in the sky, we thank you. The demo of Crackdown 2 is now available to download for free over Xbox Live. So get downloading it now. After all, there's justice to be served and no one is above the law in Pacific City when you're in town, right? And if you enjoy the demo, then make a note in your games to buy diary because the full game is out in the shops on 9th of July. That's it for this game drop. Enjoy the new games and check back here on our YouTube channel for more soon. Also, don't forget to check out our shows on TV News for more reviews, news, interviews, and bad puns. Unbelievable. Oh, that, do you know, do you know what, Ian? That actually hurt. Huh. Keep it real. Keep it game tank.